Hello everyone, my name is Mohit and I welcome you all in this series Python Parallel Programming. In the previous series, we have seen the daemon thread, how to create threads. Now in this series, we will see locking mechanism. So let's see what are the lock. So locks are the most fundamental synchronization mechanism provided by the threading module. A lock is in one of two state. Okay, a lock is in one of two state, either lock or unlocked. If a thread attempts to hold a lock that's already held by some other person, other thread, execution of the second thread is halted until lock is released. Okay, first understand what is the need of lock. Consider this is a person XYZ. XYZ has account and in, the, in his account he has thousand dollar or rupees whatever. Okay, INR dollar. Consider dollar. Okay, XYZ want to do some purchasing online by using net banking and he has done um, consider 200 dollars shopping so after paying 200 amount became 800 okay at the same time one person abc took the card took the atm card of xyz person and did some shopping by using ATM card, withdraw some money like hundred dollar withdrawing one money. At the same time, this net banking process and this ATM process fetch the money, means get the money, obtain the money, and obtain the number. Okay, now it is thousand. And same time, this ATM process also use this see this number thousand and minus the money. Now final became ninety. Okay, what would be the last number? That's 800 or 900. That's inconsistent state. Okay, both the processes access the amount at the same time. But in actually, uh, withdrawing money means purchase thing became $300. Okay, 100 from this one and 200 from this one. But what we are getting at the end, 900 due to ABC. Okay, so this is a problem with the process. So in order to avoid this kind of an inconsistent state, we use lock mechanism. How? Let's see. Consider this XYZ doing some purchasing of $200. At same time, ATM withdrawal is going to be done by his friend ABC by using the card of XYZ. But the process which started first put a lock here there is a lock put a lock here when the ATM process see okay there the, it is locked so I need to wait after purchasing done the, the this amount became 800 and lock and this process release the lock then ATM process see okay lock is lock is unlocked now I can access the number so number is uh, the balance is 800 now this ATM process can uh, subtract his amount 700 so in order to avoid this kind of inconsistent state thing we use lock mechanism so in Python threading module lock provide the lock class provide the lock locking mechanism so we have some functions, uh, you can say method because lock is a class defined in a threading module. So first is acquire, acquire a lock, block other until true. So this means put a lock. If, uh, if one thread use this statement lock.acquire, it means that that thread put a lock on the process. Lock.locked. So this is means checking. If it return true means there is a lock. Release means opening the lock. Release means opening the lock. Now let's make one small program. 
from for log we use threading module from okay import threading same function function one amount is currently here I'm defining a global variable first save this one global a, a equal to a minus a m t print a right now and let's make two threads threading dot threading dot thread target fun one a r g s arguments uh, 90 uh, 10 th1 dot start i am creating one more thread same statement copy paste change the amount 20 and start immediately done now let's see the execution so I'm getting 90 and 70 okay that's okay that's okay thing Okay, now let's see this program. I'm uh, I'm creating 10 threads. Let's see 10 thread try to access a same global variable and doing minus here 10 10 every time and time sleep is one second. Okay, now let's run this one. Here you can see I'm getting okay. Let's see one more time. Uh, but sometime I am getting 0 here okay and 50 here 50 then 10 then 30 so you can see there is some inconsistency okay 90 80 70 60 40 the next number should be 30 okay then 20 then uh, 50 should be here and this one miss we are getting something we it may be the printing problem okay but uh, we cannot assure here still we cannot assure about the synchronization so we prevent this condition we prevent this situation by using the lock so let's see how we can use the lock lock threading dot locks and print here uh, type here lock dot acquire and log dot release okay so it's lock it's capital Okay, now I'm getting the synchronization thing. Let's run this one more time. Okay, so in this way you can provide the synchronization. Okay, lock acquire and lock release. This is a binary kind of lock. Zero or one. Acquire means one. You can say one, and release means again becomes zero. And this is binary lock. And one problem with this lock is this lock one does not remember which thread acquires it okay it does not remember which thread acquires it so this can lead this can lead to two problems now i'm going to share that problems so first problem i have already made that problems see this is problem number one so here i am using 
three threads thread one thread two and thread three then join and counting the time okay this thread one calling the function name second means thread two and thread one both are calling the function name second in the second there is a statement acquire the log means put a log and the third thread target means call the function third in which data statement release so here is a acquire and here is a release so thread one use the statement and put the log and thread two waiting time it waits until this log gets released waiting until somebody release this log somebody means obviously thread one okay let's see the execution because there is no statement to release this log but we are expecting thread three release this log now you can see waiting after waiting i am getting thread 3 not thread 2 see print n what is print n that is thread 1 right now i am making the execution simpler hmm. see here this one with this argument so n is thread 1 that's why i'm getting thread 1 first statement okay no second statement thread 2 here waiting because it's acquired so that's why waiting somebody release this log after 5 seconds thread okay thread 3 waiting for 5 seconds and release the log and print the statement thread 3 when somebody release this log the thread 2 execute this statement that is thread 2 that's why total time 5 second due to this one that is a problem why because thread is acquired by first uh, sorry the lock is acquired by thread 1 but released by thread 3 that's a problem okay that's a problem so second problem now let's see the second problem in the in this problem i am using only one thread and this thread call the function all in the all it acquires a lock call the function first in that function first there is a statement print and then again acquiring a lock okay now let's run this code that is interesting thing problem number 2 Okay, sorry, it's a lock. Now you can see I'm getting start here in first two. Now I'm not getting anything here. Why? Because this lock is this lock is acquired by thread one, and again there is a statement, and you know lock does not remember which thread acquires it. So this statement thing, okay, I'm already acquired by someone. someone but don't know who is that thread who is that person means who thread name okay so i cannot let anyone to pass it means not let anyone to go for state next statement until somebody release me okay and this log does not know it is acquired by thread one why are you stopping okay because this the log does not know okay that's the problem because it is acquired by thread 1 so this this statement should not stop the thread 1 okay that's the problem that's why you can see it's infinite waiting right infinite waiting so in the next video we will see how to uh, tackle this problem how to solve this problem in the next video so please uh, guys if you have not subscribe my channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon because this series is going to be very wonderful and in the next episode or you can say next video we will see how to tackle this kind of problem and in the next video we will see gil also that's a 
main thing mostly asked in the interviews so stay tuned uh, stay tuned with us for our next video thank you very much